Hey guys, it's been a few days since I posted. Um, I decided to come outside and do this one. I'm tired of sitting in the house. Um, the dogs are running around the yard. As you can see, I have a beautiful view. This is my backyard. We live on a lake and I mean, I couldn't, I couldn't ask for a better place to live. Uh, oh, as you see, I did the checkerboard hair. Yeah. <laughs> I only did it on half. I just went bald on this side because this took forever to do myself. Um, cutting your own hair when you're doing designs and stuff isn't as easy as you would think it is. Uh, but anyway, uh, did the hair. Had an excellent Thanksgiving. We went and had brunch with Jason's grandparents. And then we traveled to my mom's house, which is about an hour and 15 minutes from his grandparents' house. Um, we had dinner there. Um, a lot of family. Aunts, uncles, cousins, grandparents, parents, uh, my sister, my nephew. There was a lot of us there. Anyway, that was a busy day. And then I stayed over at my sister's that night and she dragged me out Black Friday shopping. Wow, that was unbelievable. <laughs> I haven't done that in a number of years. And uh, wow, yeah, the lines were ridiculous. We, uh, we mapped out what we wanted from which store and, and where we should go first according to the times they were supposed to open and all like that. And needless to say, the stores didn't open when the ads said they would. So that really messed things up. Um, we got up at 2 o'clock, left the house at 2.30 to get to Old Navy for a three o'clock opening, and they didn't open until six. What a nightmare. Um, most of the other places we wanted to go weren't supposed to open until five or six. But uh, J.C. Penney actually opened at four, so that saved us. Um, they weren't supposed to open until five, but they opened an hour earlier. Sears opened at five. So we got JCPenney and Sears out of the way before Old Navy opened at six. We, well, my, my sister was in the door at Old Navy when they opened at six while I was checking out at Sears, which was right next door. And uh, I got over to Old Navy at 6.15 and the checkout line was already weaving in and out of the men's section. My dogs are barking at squirrels, sorry. <laughs> in and out of the men's section and the center part of the store and then back through the children's section and then it wove in and out of the women's section all the way back to the door. We stood in that checkout line for two and a half hours. And if they didn't have a really good sale and my sister hadn't like loaded this buggy up with like, I don't know, between her and I, we probably had 50 items. But uh, if we hadn't have loaded that buggy up like that, <laughs> I would have quit right then and there. Ugh, it was awful. But we finally got through it, and we did save a lot of money, so. We got Christmas out of the way with the exception of a couple of gift cards. Thank goodness we got everything done. After Old Navy, um, we went across town to a couple of other stores. Needless to say, we were out shopping. We started at 2.30 in the morning and we got home at 3.15 that afternoon. I was exhausted, ugh. So yeah, I slept most of the rest of the day. Got up real early Saturday, got some things done around the house and then we went back 
to my sister's to take her to get a Christmas tree because we have trucks and she doesn't. So she got her tree and we went grocery shopping and then we came home and just kind of watched the movie and vegged out. And then yesterday we spent all day long cleaning the yard because we have a really big yard that it was time to, uh, to mow and weed eat and blow the leaves off the roof and cut the bushes back. So yeah, yesterday was, was like seven hours in the yard and I still got some raking to finish today. But anyway, that's why I haven't updated. Sorry, been really busy. But it's the weekdays and Jason's back at work. So I have a little more time on my hands now. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but I have ducks swimming in the lake behind me. They're next to the neighbor's dock. Um, anyway, I guess that's really about it. Just wanted to say hello to everybody and give you an update what's been going on. Oh, exciting news about the tea situation from the clinic that I go to. Um, they called me back late Wednesday afternoon before they closed and told me that it would not be a problem. The two doctors that work there, they haven't ever worked with a trans man before, so they're going to discuss which testosterone they think I should go on and the dosage. And then, of course, when I go back to meet with them this week, um, you know, I'll, I'll give them a little more information as far as where most of you guys have started and stuff like that. Anyway, we're gonna bounce that off each other and come up with a game plan. So hopefully really, 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 really soon I'll have testosterone. Um, yeah. <laughs> Whew, can't wait. But uh, anyway, I'll give you a, a roundabout of my hair so you can see it all the way around. Tell me what you think. That's the left side. And then the right side's just bald. But yeah, I left just a clean mohawk down the center. Um, and I might do something on this side when it grows back a little bit. I don't know, but this took forever. So when I got through with this side, I was just done with it. <laughs> um, anyway, let me know what you think. And I'll probably, I'll probably update again tomorrow. What you got? Sorry. My dog's in snooping something. Anyway. <laughs> My chihuahua is running around the yard with a frisbee in his mouth and the frisbee's bigger than he is. That's hilarious. Let me see if I can show you. Can you see him? He's really far away. That's, that's two of our three dogs. Amber's the pit bull and Rocky's the chihuahua. And then we also have a 15 and a half year old poodle named Coco. He's in the house, he's an old decrepit man. I've had him since he was a puppy. That's funny. It's, of course, as soon as I move the camera back, he starts running around the yard again. Anyway, that's about it for me. So I'm gonna cut this off. But yeah, let me know what you think about the hair. I know a few of you were, were waiting to see what it looked like. And anyway, I'll talk to y'all later. Have a good day.